We all know sound is the most important part of playing any instrument. It is what anyone who listens to us experiences first, way before what we play and how we play it. To develop a great sound, you have to know effective exercises. Usually these exercises like overtones, octave exercises or maybe exercises only with a mouthpiece need to be practiced over a longer time period to show significant effects. While working with my students, I found that there are some things that you can easily change and that can immediately lead to an improved saxophone sound. No long practice hours needed, you just have to think of it while playing. Here are my top six tips and tricks to instantly improve your saxophone sound. It is crucial that you take the right amount of mouthpiece into your mouth. Check out this video for a more elaborate take on that. The basic rule is that your upper teeth are touching the mouthpiece cushion more or less in the middle. If you have the mouthpiece too far in or too far out, it can have very negative effects on your sound. Make sure your reed is exactly in the right position. I often see it with my students that the reed is a little bit misplaced, but even one millimeter can change the sound dramatically. The rule of thumb is that you should place the reed on the mouthpiece in a way that you see as little as possible of the black tip of the mouthpiece, but you should be still able to see it. Here the reed is too high and here the reed is too low. This might sound like a no-brainer, but I think from time to time many of us might be guilty of playing the same old reed for too long. This can lead to the insidious process of getting used to softer and softer reeds, using less and less air, therefore getting a smaller sound and so on. If you then switch to a new reed, you have the feeling that it is too hard and too difficult to play. This should definitely not happen. Unfortunately, it is difficult to say how long you should play one reed exactly. But if you play the reed for, let's say, two weeks every day for 30 minutes, it is quite likely that you should throw it away and take a new one. To avoid the trap of getting used to one extremely soft reed, I would highly recommend you using not only one, but several reeds at the same time. By regularly switching between them, you are more likely to detect if any of the reeds are getting too soft, since you always have the comparison with the other ones. I already did a more extensive video about the lower lip and other aspects of the embouchure in another video that you can find here. Since adjusting the lower lip is a really great way to improve your sound instantly, I definitely wanted to include it in this video. Dave Liebman, one of the greatest saxophone players and educators of our time, first showed me this and I couldn't believe what great effect this little change had on my sound. Usually the lower lip of saxophone players looks like that. But what Dave Liebman told me is that if you roll out your lower lip a little bit more, your sound can improve dramatically. And for me, I definitely found that the sound became more even throughout the whole range of the saxophone and especially the high notes sounded fuller. The yawning exercise is supposed to improve your breathing. More specifically, when you yawn, you inhale in a way that is perfect for playing the saxophone. I would recommend implementing this way of taking a breath by playing some long tones. Always before you start the long tone, try to really clearly imagine and imitate that you're yawning while you breathe in. You might notice that with this trick, you instantly have more air available and your sound becomes fuller and projects more. This tip is a bit of a miracle to myself every time I use it in my teaching. It is so simple and yet so effective at the same time. Imagine you are playing as a soloist with a huge philharmonic orchestra in your back in a really big concert hall. You don't have any microphone, but you have to fill the whole concert hall with your sound. Every single person in the concert hall is supposed to hear you. With this imagination, take a deep breath best using the yawning exercise from before and play a note. Don't try to fill the room by just playing loud. This wouldn't sound that great to the audience. Instead, playing mezzo forte, try to use your airstream to fill the room. Every great saxophone player has this quality in their sound. When they play a note, it is projecting into the whole room. 
and even when they don't play loud, their sound is traveling everywhere. I would highly recommend to you that before you play any song or exercise, you check the first note for this quality. Those were my six top tips and tricks to improve your saxophone sound instantly. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or if you want to share your experiences with those exercises. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And if you don't want to miss out on my future content, make sure to subscribe to my channel. See you next time.